Arizona's families on your side tracking a gas price rise again. Yeah, nationwide prices are up 11 cents in the last week. Here in Phoenix, they're up 12 cents just day to day. And this isn't a statewide problem. It's a valley problem. Look at the numbers. AAA Arizona says we're paying 489 a gallon average in Phoenix right now in Flagstaff. It's going for 414 down in Tucson, $3.44. That's nearly a dollar fifty less than in Phoenix. On your side's Gary Harper's live to show us what's going on here in the Valley, Gary. Yeah, it does seem like gas prices go up every single day. In fact, it's gone up around 60 cents in Phoenix uh, in the past week or so. While we're here at 7th Avenue and Bethany Home, at the Chevron gas station, it was $4.97 a gallon. Take a look at it right now. While we were here, they came out, jacked it up to $5.13 a gallon. That is 16 cents. That is a lot of money. Viewers are asking, what is going on here? Driving around the valley, and it's hard not to notice the cost of fuel. Every time you pass a gas station, it seems like the price just keeps going up. But experts say we can blame refinery problems on the West Coast for our increasing prices. Our gas here in the valley comes in from California in a pipeline, and the rest of the state gets gas trucked in. Um, but right now, there's oil refineries shut down or partially shut down in California, which means the price of fuel is much more expensive. And that's why Phoenix might be seeing higher prices than the rest of the state because they're paying more for the fuel they're getting. The California refineries were already planning shutdowns for routine maintenance, but then problems developed and there were unscheduled shutdowns that were not anticipated, cutting the gas supply even more. For drivers, it's a flashback to earlier this year when prices soared. But John Trainer of AAA says we're in a much better place today. The situation around this is significantly different. Price of a barrel of oil, cheaper than it has been since January globally, right below at $80 a barrel. That's a much different world that we live in than we did over the summer. Uh, demand is much lower. Now, once those refinery maintenance issues are resolved in California, we should see a pretty quick drop in gas prices. But right now, there's no telling when that will happen. Until then, Trainer says we should use the lessons we learned when prices soared earlier this year. Drivers, we've dealt with this before. We've become very smart consumers. We've become smart drivers. Use the same things you were doing back then. Carpool if you can. Drive less. Be more efficient in how you drive. And take care of your car because it might be pennies on the dollar, but those pennies really add up. Now, California has right around 17 refineries in that state. If you figure three, four, or five of those refineries go offline, that really cuts into uh, production. You know, remember, refineries are responsible for turning crude oil into usable gas. And when those refineries go down, it cuts into the production, it cuts into our supply, and that's why prices go up. But this is only temporary, we're being, to, uh, being told. As soon as those refineries are back up and running, we should be seeing prices go back down. The magic question is, when will that happen? Nobody knows. I'm Gary Harper, on your side.